Yeah, only problem was your friend, the UC. He nearly blew my ass off. <laughs> How's your fancy European friend working out? Okay, okay. Seems like maybe he's the only guy in the city not working for the state. Him and the lost MC. Me and the brothers are tight. I hope so, for your sake, Johnny, you know. <laughs> See you soon, baby, huh? Hello. Johnny Clevis. Yeah, who's this? You tried to offload some smack to a colleague of mine called Charlie. Costly mistake. Who the fuck is this? Agent Jones, FIB. We'd like you to come in for a talk. Things might be easier for you if you give us some information on your motorcycle club. Fuck you, Fed. This conversation's over. If you got any evidence on me, get a warrant. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. I thought I'd inquire about a membership. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Under this ravaged, drug-addled exterior lies the heart of a reactionary prick, so I thought I'd fit right in here. I think you should leave, sir, before I call the police. I think you should leave, sir, before I... Dude, it is the 21st century. Let me tell you something. You've got a job wiping rich pricks' asses, and for some reason you seem a little pleased with yourself. Will you leave? Trust me, man, nothing would please me more. But I'm supposed to see Tom Stubbs, and well, he said to meet him here. Oh, Mr. Stubbs, sir. Okay, you only had to say so, sir. Follow me, will you? Mr. Stubbs is in the day spa, receiving some back work. Right you are. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> Mr. Stubbs, a gentleman for you. Oh, thank you, Levis. And thank you. <laughs> uh. So, you're David Grossman's friend. Oh, yeah. We're old, old buddies. Love the old boy network. Yeah, I can imagine. So, what is it that you want? Could you excuse us, sugar? Okay, sure. And thank you. Best massage I ever had that didn't involve a happy ending or a poignant sense of guilt afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Tom Stubbs, how do you do? Well, now that you've mentioned it, I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Don't be pathetic. And no secrets here, pal. Now listen, I'm in a bit of a bother sport. Well, I think they could fix that with surgery these days, you know? Can we stop with the jokes? Grossman tells me you're reliable. Grossman? That guy's an asshole. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by pretending to be a good guy. I'm a politician. I'm a cynic. I'm very needy. I need people to like me. I need people to like me so that they elect me. I need people to elect me so that I feel marginally less bad about myself when I stare into the mirror. That being said, I try to do a good deed here and there. Democracy is a beautiful thing. Personally, I prefer a benign dictatorship without the pretense of choice. But let's leave the political discussion, shall we? Yes, let's. Unfortunately, an awful man has ensured that my chance of being reelected is pretty much zero. Why? Blackmail? Not exactly. I need his money, and he hasn't died. What? You want me to kill your father? No, that's disgusting. How could you suggest such a thing? My father died years ago, thank God. No, my uncle. That sanctimonious do-gooder controls the family trust. Whoa, that's heavy, man. Yes. So is being arrested for drug running and spending the next 30 years in prison. You and your little gang, I mean. I see. You make a wonderful politician. I know. Now, you've got to get the old goat today. Make it spectacular. Make it appear as though it's a terrorist act. That'll do wonders for my campaign in all sorts of ways. Uh, Levis will give you a package on the way out. Right. Oh, and Klebitz! Trust me, 
I am what I am. But I look out for those who help me. A blackmailer with a conscience. Beautiful. Sadly, Stubbs, I'm not gonna be able to disappoint you. Your uncle is no longer with us. For my conscience's sake, I hope your lack of humanity is a genetic quality. Ah, uh, he was a man of the people, a philanthropist, a pompous windbag, and an occasional Kenmite. Typical Stubbs, you might say. Sleep easy and drop into the club sometime soon. <laughs> 